So my name is Gareth Adams and I'll be telling you about the computing course here at Long Road Sixth Form College. Now, the examination board we use here is the Pearson BTEC Level 3 National Extended Certificate in Computing. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the course. So the qualification is all to do with you learning about the computing sector alongside your other fields of study. Now with uh, with this course, it's uh, with a view to progress into a wide range of higher educational courses or computing sector apprenticeships and jobs, which I'll talk a bit about later. Uh, it is designed to be taken as part of a programme of study that includes appropriate BTEC nationals and A-level qualifications. So it's a two year course and is equivalent to in size to one A level, which is worth 60 credits. Now on this table, you can see how or the grading system for the extended certificate, which is a pass merit distinction and a distinction star equates to the A level grades and how they equate to UCAS tariff points. Therefore, a distinction star is equivalent to an A star A level. 56 UCAS points and so on and so forth. So what will you be doing over the two years? Well, it's four units that we study as part of this qualification. We have the principles of computer, computer science, the fundamentals of computer systems, unit two, unit seven, IT systems, security and encryption, and unit 14, computer games development. Unit one. So this principles of computer science in it, you're learning about computational thinking, which includes decomposition, pattern recognition, algorithm design. There's also learning about standard methods and techniques used to develop these algorithms, which includes flowcharts and pseudocode. You'll be learning about programming paradigms, how to handle data and built in functionality within our, our different programs, and you'll be learning to develop program with uh, different programming languages and markup uh, languages such as procedural programming, object oriented programming, event driven programming and you'll be coding for the web. Now this slide shows uh, a few of the, the applications that we use and languages. So we program in C sharp, Python and Visual Basic. We also use Markdown and uh, we develop using Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code. Now, unit two is all to do with the fundamentals of computer systems. So within this unit, uh, we'll be looking at hardware and software, computer architecture, how data is represented by computer systems, how data is organized and how data is transmitted. Unit seven is IT system security and encryption. So within this, uh, unit, you're looking at different threats that can affect the business. Uh, you'll be looking at network based threats, information security principles, cryptographic principles and methods, and you'll also uh, examine techniques and implement strategies to protect an IT system. Unit 14 is the games development unit. So within this, you're going to learn about uh, or investigate technologies used in computer gaming, uh, what the social trends and technologies that are, are used in gaming, and you're also going to be designing and developing a computer game. Now, to develop this, you'll be using Unity and C Sharp in order to create uh, some 2D or 3D games. It's up to you what you create. Now, grading and assessment types. So unit one and unit two are both examined units. You can see the unit points uh, on the slide and the examined uh, units equate to 58% of the overall mark. Unit seven, unit 14 are written assessments and equates to 42% of the overall mark. Now trips. So last year we went on a visit to Anglia Ruskin University to find out about their computing degree there. Our students were able to uh, find out about artificial intelligence, how that is used, and also look at the cyber security. Other, 
other trips that we we're planning to go on is to go to Bletchley Park to find out about the codes and ciphers, which uh, works out well with our Unit 7. And our students also go to World Skills Live UK to find out more about different jobs that they can get involved in with computing and different apprenticeships. Future opposite opportunities. So the course helps you to develop, uh, to progress to degree courses in areas such as games development, computer science, software engineering, computer programming. The qualification is also excellent preparation for a career in many branches of computing, including multimedia, software design, computing, or the computing games industries. So this table shows where our last year's students are went to. You can see the range of different courses in the universities where our students are went to. Now, there are many jobs available in computing, uh, such as games development, computer science, software engineering, or computer programming. And like I said, it's a good stepping stone if you just want to go out and get a career in multimedia, software design and the games industry. Now, if you have any further questions regarding the computing course, please email them uh, to inquiries at longroad.ac.uk and I will communicate back to you. OK, thank you very much for, for listening and I hope to see you in September.